Hi guys. Uh, in this video, uh, Noel from Noel's Garden Tractors and Wood, Firewood, uh, put out a challenge, uh, a barbecue challenge out of wood. So I'm going to do that in this video. And he, I seen on his video, he did a, a fireplace, a wood stove challenge. So I don't know if he started that or he just participated in it. But uh, we're going to do that too. I'll show you my wood stove and uh, what I've, what I'm going to barbecue my steaks on later. So this is my wood stove. Uh, it's a Lakewood stove. It was uh, manufactured in uh, Bob Cajun, Ontario. The same as a Tragically Hip sang that Bob Cajun song, same place. So it's an old one. Um, I can put a, a, a 24 inch or even more in there. It's really deep. It's like a workhorse of a wood stove. And I made a, a rack here where I can uh, like warm up my wood a little bit. If there's snow on it, it gives it time to melt off. I've got a bit of a gap there. For it to... And since heat rises, I thought, well, why not make a kiln? I got a, I made a kiln so I can put my smoker wood in there. I got it insulated. I'm going to get about a wheelbarrow load of wood in there. One thing I ended up by doing was up top running some 2x6 along, about 8 feet long. The uh, roof trusses are 2 feet wide. So I've got it supported up in the attic. I've ran 4 bolts down and put steel along there and then I fastened everything to the steel. I've got um, tin at the wall and there's a gap in between the the unit i've got insulation at the top two layers of insulation at the top i've got insulation at the top of this and then there's a gap i got you it's covered now you can't see it but there's a gap this doesn't go right to the ceiling there's a gap there and i packed it full of insulation um i got something around that pipe so that no wood can fall on it Got insulation at the back. I got insulation everywhere but the door. Got a fan up top to draw the heat up and out. Mm -hmm. So every time I'm I'm using my wood stove, I can actually dry some wood in there. That's where I put my smoker wood, the good stuff. I got my. Uh, we're gonna go outside and look at. Uh, I'm just getting my barbecue ready here. I have barbecued in here before. Get some uh, rebar. You stick them in there. And then I've got a rack that I'd put on there. And uh, yeah, put my hamburgers or whatever on there. I've done that a few times. Mostly lunchtime. Mm hmm. But uh, the one outside, I've been wanting to do that for over a year now, and now I've got time to do it. And I thought, uh, get her done now and see how it goes. One thing I noticed this year, I don't know if you can see it or not, but up there, there's a crack. And when I first light it, then smoke comes out of here, so... I think this year I'm going to have to uh, replace this. My neighbor down the road has got a home homemade boiler. He said I can have it, but I'm worried about uh, getting a wet certificate for it for insurance reasons. But uh, if I can get a wet certificate for it, then I'm going to try and put a boiler in here and then have it go into the house. Uh, my house is all on baseboard heating, so and my wood stove. But, uh, so there's going to be a lot of work I'd have to do on the inside to, to get it to work. But it'd be nice, because right now I've got this wood stove and then one in the house. Uh, let's see how my barbecue's done. Uh, is he coming on? Mm. 
but uh, yeah, if I uh, go that route, then uh, I'd have to do a lot of work in the house to get it set up for it, but it might be worth it. Instead of dragging wood downstairs and just bring it here and heat both. Yeah. Eat that. Well, this is going to be the end of this video. Bye for now, guys. I'm going to go and eat this steak.